Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding of Isaac. Can we talk about what the heck this thing is right here? This is the greed head. We got a penny, we got like a little chest. What the fuck is this? There's like a ghost popping out of Curse of the Tower or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna let the keeper get me down. Some people might be tired of seeing the keeper. You know, th this is like episode 130 or something. I'll restart until at least I have an item room next to me. It's difficult enough, I think, to warrant that. And ugh, ugh. Um, not necessarily horrible, I guess, but, but pretty bad. Um, okay, pretty amazing. Triple shot mom's knife. That's okay, I can live with that. Burning basement, curse of the darkness, kind of scares me, but, uh... I know it's not curse of the darkness, it's just curse of the darkness. I'll show my seed. 3MMQ14Y3. Um, yeah, what I was gonna say, though, is that, you know, don't be sick of watching The Keeper yet. We're on episode... 130-something. Now, about 1% of those episodes are going to be uh, me playing as the Keeper. So, you know, that number's probably going to get a little bit more uh, up there as time goes on. But it's still, like, very underrepresented because I just unlocked it. Now, of course, I'm thinking we blow up these pots to try to get value out of them. If we can get Swallowed Penny and Mom's Knife, the dream could happen here. Whoa! Okay. Thank you for that. We can, and it's safe, I think, to protect our run. Like, the safest option is to protect our run. So, we're gonna come back here, use a bomb, maybe get Swallowed Penny, definitely get a Penny. I was like, where the fuck is the second spider? <laughs> There's always a second spider! There was not a second spider that time. I was getting a little ahead of myself. Might as well crack those, see if we get some money out of it. Ooh, pennies, please. No, just a key, and maybe a red heart, because I think we did gain, um... A little friendly blue fly there. This is now the time when you would start looking at this run and thinking, okay, who the hell do I have to kill? Might just do a regular chest run. I suppose the time might be right if we get the damage necessary to do a Mega Satan run. It scares the shit out of me, but at the same time, ah, eh, we might as well take it. You know, it is an all stats up. Even if it doesn't give us the HP up, it's an all stats up. At the same time, I'd kick myself if I couldn't, if I had the, like, best run I'm gonna have with Mega Satan, or with, uh, the Keeper for a long time, and didn't actually go fight, uh, Mega Satan. It would feel like a little bit of a wasted opportunity, right? Let's crack this open. Got a lot of red hearts, apparently, and also a bomb. Of course, we're looking for small rock here. We'll probably leave that penny for now. We got a bomb back. Uh, we are gonna try to find a good area to pop some pots, because, again, Swallow Penny would be amazing as long as I don't trade my HP away. Stars card. Let's just use that right now. I mean, I think Chemical Peel is... is okay. It's more damage. Not necessarily the thing we need the most right now, but not bad. We got one penny for one bomb. Do have the potential to go to our shop. Yeah, let's just teleport to Mega Satan as the Keeper. Hilariously enough, I guess it would be plausible if you had, uh... If you had Swallowed Penny and maybe, like, a Strength card. The Strength card would be for use later. Man, I really should have left a penny on the ground. So many times. I, I almost screw myself over here. Take a quick look for a penny, but also a quick look for Swallowed Penny. Which is valuable for us. At least we got back to our other penny. We are going to skip our deal with the devil here because... Well, probably skip our deal with the devil. Because I, uh, I got hit. And thus took the equivalent of red heart damage. You, you know what I'm thinking when that starts to happen is like, maybe this is the Mega Satan run. Maybe this is the Mega Satan dream right here. Maybe not. There's always that possibility as well. We're still extraordinarily early, but might be worth uh, might be worth the attempt at least. Let's see who our boss is first. It's the haunt. We really, really should not die here. I mean, we are looking at, you know, triple shot mom's knife. And we can get hit twice. Okay, that was easy. We got Mom's Pearls, which just give us a range plus luck. More like a range plus yuck. This is the last floor it's very likely we find pots on. So I'm thinking we use our bomb to really try to get Swallowed Penny, which is an unlikely pickup, but would... I don't want to say save the day, but would be worth its weight in gold. No Swallowed Penny. Okay. Go to our shop. It's a little bit of a last ditch effort. We got five keys and a little bit of money, though. We'll try to buy a trinket that's good. Or a, a card, maybe, if there's no trinket for sale. There's a three cent card, so that's what we're gonna buy. It's the sun. That is like a last ditch, save yourself after you've been hit kind of problem. So I'm happy with that. 
And really, I'm not going to sweat too much the progression we make as the Keeper, I guess. If we manage to survive and, and actually win a run as the Keeper and get something new, uh, you know, checked off of our post-it note and gain some confidence, which might be the most important thing. Well, no, the, definitely the accomplishment is more important. But uh, the accomplishment can breed, breed some confidence, which might make me uh, a more uh, formidable player. As the Keeper, at least. And, you know, every run we play with the Keeper, we learn a little bit more about him. Learn a little bit about, uh, you know, what makes him tick, strategies to use, items to avoid, implementations of those items to avoid. For example, uh, definitely not the world's best idea to use Guppy's paw. We learned on the last run. It's a hard-fought lesson. Would have rather just read it as opposed to, uh, you know, have to learn it. But that's okay. It happens. Do we check out our shop again? Yeah, I think we definitely check out our shop again. Now, this penny's interesting. Ooh, mom's key. Making our chests better, more likely to have pennies in them. I think that's definitely worth getting. Uh, hopefully that gets our donation machine. It didn't, but it didn't matter. All right. Blowing hourglass, I don't even know. We got the mom transformation already. That's a big surprise. We were also probably fucking ourselves out of our deal with the devil chance, which is exciting. <laughs> Let's see what we got. It's the hollow. Easy boss fight. Could drop more pennies. Wow, he dropped like no pennies, dog. We do get a luck upgrade, small rock, small rock. No, just a lot of spirit hearts, apparently. My thinking there was we've already taken red heart damage. It's better, I think, to walk on the spikes and then pick up the penny for guaranteed full health than possibly miss the spikes on the way in, pick up the penny, and then hit the spikes on the way out. We did not, oh no. We did not get our item room on this floor yet. I'm looking at our items, and I'm like, boss room, shop, boss room. So we definitely need to go to our item room. I am going to use the sun card. It doesn't do anything for us from a mapping standpoint. But uh, from a, hey, we're totally not going to die standpoint, is pretty sweet right now, i got to admit. From a, hey, let's not fear for our lives standpoint, it's, it's up there right now. Obviously, our flies are going to be real nice. Every extra room that we can take some of those red hard flies into... I'm feeling extra confident. Here's our item room. It is the parasite, which does nothing for us. Oh, unless... No, it does nothing. <laughs> I thought at first it gave us like a huge rate, uh, rate of fire increase, but apparently not. Took an extra crack there. You know, I don't really want Magic Mush necessarily, although the damage bonus would be nice, and the other stat bonus would be not bad at worst, but... Um... Ooh. I figured uh, maybe we can get like a... Tears upgrade. I don't even know what the other pills would be. In hindsight, not that great of a decision if I can't come up with, with too many outs for myself, but... Okay, a little scared on that room. Pretty much clammed up completely. No, no, no! Okay, we're still alive. And now we are dead. <laughs> The mom transformation there kind of fucked me. That's so funny. That was just bad luck or, you know, frustration, depending on your standpoint. It, it wasn't just bad luck. Like, I could have I could have done better. I guess we'll live on the way out of here, but is it worth it? We got a luck upgrade and some money and retrovision. I don't think that's worth sticking with this run. Oh, I'm disappointed there. That's okay. You know what would have been awesome? If somehow I didn't take damage on the second floor and then got the ability to fly and we made something happen there. What do we got here is an Anzu's ruin. I mean, when we're on a curse of the uh, labyrinth, not finding pennies, or not even, but just going into that curse room, taking red heart damage or the equivalent thereof is pretty bad, so. Wow, okay, yeah. We'll start with Cricket's Head. It's no mom's knife, but it's a great pickup. And I think I'm pretty quickly learning that it's really defensive items that are more important than uh, than offensive items. I mean, both important, of course, but in the in the base game, or as any other character, I guess I should say, defense usually a little bit less important than you know jamming out with mom's knife and rocking on forever. Uh, in our situation, as the keeper, having something like Swallow Penny really does seem like it's a game winner, or at least gives you the potential to win the game. Infested? Ah, oh, man, I wish it was the poop infested. You should shoot these for petrified poop, but let's be honest. I am a little lazy about things sometimes, and I think sometimes deservedly so. 
this feels like one one such deserving opportunity. And I gotta admit, I'm, I'm kind of aching for a lost win. Oh, that sucks. We did get uh, a lost Holy Mantle win. Not Holy Mantle, sorry. We, we got a lost uh, Greed Mode win not too, too long ago. But long enough ago that I'm feeling like I could really use another, you know, confidence boost. Especially after that Epic Fetus, Dr. Fetus, Mega Satan lost run kind of fell off the rails. That was like, oh shit. <laughs> I need to change my life, you know? I need to make some, I need to make some changes here. I'm mostly being facetious, but it was fairly poor play that led to that. Led to that. Also a tiny room. Fuck that tiny room. Okay. Still alive. Regular Monstro. Immolated Hopper. Combustible Hopper. Dennis Hopper in speed. Should be like two more hits. There we go. Don't really care about an HP up. Yeah, instead, we get a speed plus damage up. That's much, 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 much more valuable. Better item also contributes towards spun. Now, we've got a lot of damage upgrades here. We still need a penny to feel at least like a little confident in how this floor is going. How this run is going, I should say. But, you know, it, it's not that much different than our mom's knife run right now. It will be later if we don't get more damage upgrades. But um, for right now, it's like a functional high damage run. The problem is our HP sucks, but, you know, w one bomb put in the right position here could change that completely. Swallow Penny? No Swallow Penny and no pennies at all. That's really disappointing. We also have no keys, which I'm starting to notice. Uh, that could be a problem. Is our luck stat, like, negative eight? I can't seem to find a single consumable drop. There we go. We got a key. And it's almost worth it, but I think because we can still find Swallow Penny from Pots, I'm not going to blow up any of those skulls just yet. Skulls also can't drop pennies. Just be smart here. Like, sure, there is a pot we could blow up, but it's a little scary. Uh, this is actually a great uh, uh, time for us to have the Parasite, I think. I don't want to risk this. There's, there's just no world in which that feels right. There we go. Full health. Could take a deal with the devil here. I think we really need to think twice about our deals with the devil, though. You know, it has to be something incredible. In order to really justify it. Eh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I My resolve doesn't last too long in the face of items like Brimstone and Mom's Knife. So we'll have to, you know, it's a case-by-case -case thing. We can at least get a key for a bomb. And we picked up Small Rock, which we've had a incredibly good luck with. Don't let me try to frame these, like... Keeper losses as the game fucking us. The game's been doing a pretty darn good job. In my opinion. A speed upgrade, it could be worse. I really wish he didn't spin. But we still got through it. And we got a lump of coal. And we got a free key. Down to the next floor. No deal with the devil precedent. That's okay. We'll just feel good about it right now. I don't want to take this pill. It scares the shit out of me. If it's a health downgrade. Which would be very fitting... Considering how many times I've accident or I've purposely, not it's not really purposefully, but like intentionally, accidentally screwed ourselves out of some uh, some value, mostly HP. If I accidentally did it this time, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Basically, fuck health down pills. I guess is the sentiment I was trying to get across. We'll leave one penny back there just as like a you know get out of jail free card. Not the get out of jail free card in the game, nor the get out of the jail free card uh, from Monopoly, but the metaphorical jail. You know that we've all been to metaphorical jail. Get put in time out as a kid. Basically, you just want to solve our problem instantly here. Holy light. The stars are brightly shining. That's a pretty good pickup for us. I will pick that up now. Probably debatably a terrible decision, but that's okay. I love rooms where enemies don't move. Holy Light did a lot of good work for us there. Okay. You know, I'm looking at this run, and on... Wow, uh, good dodging. Uh, on paper, this is not the best run we've ever had. For Keeper runs. It's not the worst. The worst is probably one that we just threw away without, you know, really paying attention to it. But, um, it's, it's not the best. But it's really, really good. If we could somehow get into those angel rooms and pick up like a holy mantle, 
I don't I don't see myself getting hit three times on too many rooms. That was a very lucky dodge. I mean, I had to do it, but it was also the fact that I did it was pretty lucky. If we could just somehow eke out a holy mantle or something along those lines. Still, I would love Swallow Penny, man, if it showed up. Don't get me wrong. Probably at this point worth going back to our shop. Good kill. Uh, I'd like to keep all those flies, but that's okay. Let's just check out what we got in here first. Zagurdi Jr. ended our last run, or two runs ago. Easy peasy this time. We get a box of stuff. It comes with a trinket. The trinket is Burnt Penny. It's better than nothing, but it could spawn troll bombs, so we do need to keep an eye out for that. Balls of steel. Bombs are key. Okay, so we've... I had the sack there to go through both of our pills, and I think it ended up being okay. We've been to our item room. Now we're going to go to our shop. Could use... Uh, oh, you know what? we got to try this. Could use Hanged Man to pick up, like... There's a couple of areas where there's, like, one penny. I don't know if it's really worth it. In fact, I know it's not really worth it. We'll, we'll just hold on to it for now. It's a testament to the quality of the run right now that I feel like completely okay doing this, and I feel like we're getting a pretty decent benefit out of it. Uh, I've got to I've got to start coming to this realization that, you know, even if I feel confident, if we get a bunch of pennies on a room, we shouldn't pick them up until after the room is over. You might need those for HP. So we're hoping for maybe Mom's box here. I believe. Fanny pack. That is also something we could do something with. We don't want anything else on here, but blow that up. Okay. Fanny pack could drop pennies. If it drops anything, I'm happy, but it could drop pennies. We're also like going fast enough to do boss rush here. This is starting to feel like a real a real run, a real run that has a chance. Not too worried about the secret room. Probably should be. But we're, we've moved on here, because I'm a sucker, like I said. Fudged up in the head, not. Nah. Only I didn't say fudge. Let's try. Let's try. Okay, two bombs for nothing. Not a huge loss, really, but that's all right. Man, when you look at our items, we got like a really good density of necessary items. Like every item that you can see on that list has done something for us. Something not meaningless. We don't have too many, you know, range upgrades that just sit there not really making a difference even you know even caffeine pill even the box those have helped out but obviously you know lump of coal our starting triple shot holy light those are the big the big ones i think instead of worrying about bombs we do take the left hand the chance to just luck into a guppy run seems important and, you know, a nine lives pickup out of a red chest could completely change the way this run looks right now. So, I would be into that. Great stuff. I'm not, again, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. I'm not really concerned with whether or not we're doing Mega Satan or, you know, Dark Room or Chest on this run. I'm just concerned with keeping ourselves alive floor to floor and we can worry about the rest later. Um, Dead Bird is our first real dud of an item. And even it's not too, too awful. It's not useless. It's just an item that only works after we get hit is going to be a little bit shitty. We've already been to our item room. We're not going to do our shop. <clears throat> so we're going to play this a little bit like old school Lost. And we're basically just going to go straight ahead into our next boss fight. Take out these guys. Chub can't spawn those. So if we can take those out, we never have to worry about them again. Oh, this Chub can. Maybe Chub on the Flooded Caves? Or maybe just all Chubs now. I don't know. Whoa. Range upgrade. Shouldn't have jinxed it. We probably have to. It's an educated decision. Um, that scares the shit out of me. But if we're going to go for this left hand shit, I think we got to give it a try. Okay. Uh, uh, why am I walking around then? Well, because I think this has to be our second seek. Oh, it's a tinted rock. Uh, but we already have small rock. We hoping for a golden chest, I guess. Let's give it a shot. Maybe at least flies could save us. Yeah, six flies. Don't bother me. Let's uh, let's head down. Really would like an HP upgrade now. I have done the the classic greed mistake. 
of taking a deal with the devil somewhat aggressively, putting myself in a position where, like, pretty easily you could envision this run going wrong. But I did it for the greater good. The idea that maybe there could be a guppy hidden somewhere here. The Ankh, I'm not taking it. Um, and the reason I'm not taking it is because I don't want to win this run unless we're winning as the keeper. What's the point? I can win as Blue Baby, uh, you know, any, any day of the week sometimes. <laughs> triple shot, triple shot. Okay, what an interesting pickup. It actually did synergize with itself. Uh, we have a much, much greater uh, charge time. But we do fire, like, a pretty impressive spectrum of shots. And anything that can put more holy light on the screen, I, I'm I'm for. It does have a pretty wicked charge time to it. We got to prepare ourselves for that. Um, so if I can keep myself away from enemies long enough to use it, well then that's great. This is a teleportation to our deal with the devil that unfortunately does not allow us to take anything. I will blow up the demon judgment. Shiny rock. Nah, dog. Not necessary. Lust gets us closer to spun, theoretically, but the theory did not work out there. Another range up. It's not bad, necessarily. So now we're pretty much relying on um, boss rush. Not boss rush, sorry. Boss room and item room to give us a, a key. And the key in this case, the major key is going to be an HP upgrade. And when I said a key, you might have thought I meant a physical key. No. That was a mistaken nomenclature. I've already been to our item room. We gave us triple shot. Right. Well, I guess we're relying on our boss room then. Okay. Guppy's head? No, we already have Guppy's head. What am I hoping to get out of a stone chest if not Guppy's head and we already have Cricket's head? This is a great question. I don't have an answer to it. Okay, that scares the shit out of me. Just run for your life. Fight our boss. Is Brownie? That's extremely dangerous. We got so lucky to Holy Light Brownie before it could do anything to us. And holy shit, we actually did get an HP upgrade from our boss. We're not going to our shop, so we'll just head down to the next floor. We're still in this. And we've had a, a pretty good run. So now, if I'm not mistaken, extrapolating the fact that red hearts, be, or any hearts for that matter, become uh, flies... Then the way that this old bandage will work is that when we get hit, we'll have like a 50% chance to summon some fucking flies. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's certainly a lot less practical. I don't want to play the blood bank. Although it doesn't affect our red heart uh, precedent of damage for the deal with the devil. For whatever reason, I'm just like, stay away from it for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust that innate feeling, even though there's no, you know, scientific reason to do so. Feel a little uneasy about it. The rate of fire is disgusting. I really need to amp that up if possible. I would love to get uh, the black candle here. I would also, like, the reason I'm trying to blow up a, a few more skulls now is teleport cards would allow me to get an item from the deal with the devil. That's pretty amazing. Uh, or not deal with the devil, sorry, boss rush. It, it recorded a lot of Isaac today. Brain's starting to melt a little bit, but... Um, whoa, a little dangerous. If we can just uh, take an item from there, we got our choice of four. Chances of finding something like Holy Mantle, I think, go up a little bit. Now I feel better. Let's, let's play it. Play it. I really don't want IV bag, but we have enough bombs to probably get a penny back regardless. This is what we're looking for, I guess. I think it does give you a speed upgrade again. At least I feel faster. And we, we actually didn't pick up any money out of that, I guess, because it all went to our HP. But if we'd gotten double uh, coins at any point, we would have gotten something. We actually lost a cent, I think. But if it actually does give us a small speed up... Oh my lord! Well... Probably kiss goodbye to your deal with the devil chance. Just be smart. Put this like right here. Pick that up. Live your life. Well worth the cost of a bomb. Would we do it for a spirit heart? Absolutely we'd do it for a spirit heart. We could use hanged man to get into our curse room. And again, if we're kind of committing to this guppy dream, that does make sense. Our, uh... Tough love pickup doesn't excite me too much, but 
We do have Parasite, which I think might amplify the effects of Tough Love, or at least the odds of getting a Tough Love, you know, uh, effect. Plus, we fire six shots at a time. Seems like we can put a lot of Tough Love on the screen. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I'm going to go to the Curse Room. Although, I could go to the Boss Trap Room if we go to our Curse Room. Maybe that's, maybe that's the scene that we're looking for here. Let's start like this. One thing you... Oh, ahead of the Keeper Tears. This is exactly what we need to spawn more pennies. Okay, then we get this. We get some more flies. Curse immunity is really good. Uh, this seems awesome. I'm not gonna fuck with it. Fuck the Curse Room. Fuck the Boss Trap Room. Kill Mom. Get pennies. Live your life. Oh, holy shit. I'm not saying this makes us invincible. But it seems real flipping good. We'll take the Polaroid. Ah, Super Bandage, Unicorn Horn, not good enough. Okay. Oh, we gotta deal with the devil. We can do it. Kill everything first. This better not kill us. Take this. Take this. We become Guppy. We live. We have ten lives. We're spawning flies. We have Head of the Keeper. Oh, baby. We could have taken Super Bandage maybe now, but not that big of a deal. Um... Is this, is this where we do hush? This seems like the perfect hush run. We have the ability to fly, lots of damage, good speed, good range. We summon pennies consistently. If we can just leave a bunch of them on the, I as well pop the hangman. If we can just leave a bunch of them on the, on the ground, that's great. I have no idea how our god awful rate of fire will affect us during the hush fight. Hopefully not too much. You know what? To be safe, let's drop the left hand. Take the occasional piercing spectral shot. Not that interested in that, honestly. Anything that compromises our ability to get the hush is going to fall by the wayside temporarily. It is going to become our singular focus. And I'm glad I'm summoning uh, so many flies because it's kind of like a broken record at this point, but our rate of fire is real bad. You really got to make sure you're hitting something before you, you take the shot. Nice try. Do have a curse room. Not really interested. I mean, interested, but not really interested, though. And for once, I don't think we actually need to leave pennies on the ground because we're spawning a bunch of them. And we also have ten lives. Well, potentially ten. At least nine lives. I'm starting to feel confident. I'm starting to feel good. Starting to feel like in the groove as the keeper here as well, which might be, you know, roughly as important. If we can get a huge fly army and then like not even have to fight the first phase of the hush, that would be good too. Not really looking for anything else on this particular floor. Except maybe a deal with the devil. I don't really want white pony, but our deals with the devil. I mean, Maw of the Void could be worth it. It allows us to summon a lot more flies, but I don't think it's worth it. It's It would only cost us a life as well, but I don't want to focus on... Ah, you know what? Actually, that was a really good pickup. <laughs> now that I've thought it through for like more than a quarter of a second, I've decided that it actually would have been definitely the right decision. Because I could charge up my shot anyway. Like I'm, I'm going to be holding it down to try to shoot anyway. Ah, maybe it would have been bad. Because with my low rate of fire, it would like pop all the time and I would miss all the time from not paying attention you know and when you miss that's like a six second opportunity cost I don't know not a six second probably like a two or three second but I think no matter what we're in a good position but possibly Maw of the Void might have been the right pickup there what it definitely was was like the cuter pickup it's like the the play you make when you know what you're doing in the game or at least you want to make it look like you know what you're doing in the game because you're like hey it's only a life it's not actually that big of a deal books I mean, Guppy's head is pretty useful, but I think at this point you got to be looking at this and saying maybe like Book of Shadows for some extra invincibility. If the Keeper's main problem is vulnerability, then this is uh, probably better for us. We're already summoning enough flies. Let's try this. We got plenty of time, so just leave a penny on the ground here. Yeah, I don't think this is going to disrupt our. Uh... Oh, we don't need to leave a penny on the ground if we only have you know zero HP basically. Um. I don't know if it was that worth it, but no big deal. 
Fly equilibrium is the big one. If we, if we now are generating like next to no flies, then it's definitely not worth it. Might as well take. Uh, here are fonts, just more flies. Should be an easy room. And a double key room. I would not reroll this run. I'm, I'm a bad dude sometimes. I'm not a bad enough dude to reroll this run. I'm talking Michael Jackson bad. B-A-D-D. -D. Uh, I will check these out. Ah, maybe we shouldn't spend any more keys. We need seven on the on the hush fight to open up everything, and we're pretty darn close to that hush fight. Okay, that's not a surprise. Really should just make a habit of walking in and shooting the enemy closest to us anyway. One life down, didn't even get Mob the Void out of it. GG. Game's over, Northern Lion sucks. Trying to save uh, the Book of Shadows play for the Mom's Heart fight. Although, actually, I should save it for the Hush fight. Because Mom's Heart, we should be able to beat just by walking in. Uh, and I don't want to accidentally, you know, not be able to get a battery charge. Yeah, thank you. Not be able to get a battery charge. Ooh, super greed, baby. So we'll come in here. This is going to be a little bit of a moment of truth. If there wasn't a battery charge for sale on the shop, is what I was trying to say. Then we wouldn't have been able to use Book of Shadows. Might have been a problem. Monstro's Lung strikes me as like really doubling down on um, on incredibly high charge times here. Eve's Mascara is much worse. <laughs> Let's see what these offer first. Then maybe I'll, I'll make a decision. I want to take Monstro's Lung. I don't think I can take Bob's Brain on this one, unfortunately. Uh, Diplopia. We could take double, double Eve's Mascara. Double Piggy Bank. I mean, I know what you're thinking, probably, and that's that the piggy bank is, like, the right choice for us because it, um... It gives us money when we get hit, but I don't think we need it anymore. I'm gonna try Monstro's Lung, and then I really just... Oh, my God. Are you, are you witnessing this? That's horrifying. Um, I may have made an enormous mistake, but that's half the fun! Let's go to town here. Hopefully we just never miss. I mean, it does a lot of damage with each hit, as you can see, but the dodge is going to be a little bit more stressful than I even anticipated. Is there, like, a, a minimum rate of fire? Because if there is, I would actually like to take Eve's Mascara. Come on, I believe. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is gonna be a good time. All your skills uh, that you've ever used when dodging against the Hush are gonna be present right now. There you go. Good hit. Get some flies in there. Get some mascara. Not mascara. Get some holy light. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not that bad, but the dodging is going to be fucking horrible. This is the easy phase of the Hush fight. Are we fast enough to get over his bullshit? Uh, like his, his super like laser beams from heaven attack at the end? Yes, I think so. And also we have... Um, we have Book of Shadows. You know, you could be forgiven for thinking I was going to get hit there. Ye of little faith. I, it crossed my mind that it could happen. Really cannot quit the charge before things get uh, get going here. It's really, like, only a problem because this fight is going to be really long. On, on a regular room, one shot will kill every enemy. Probably. With our flies that we generate at the very least. So, like, we're going to be able to steamroll every single room from this point onwards. The problem is that we have to, you know, not get hit right now. Maybe that's where you use your continuum shots. You know what? Fuck it. Eve's Mascara. <laughs> I'm holding the button down. It's not even registering. Good God. What have I done? 
Maybe we do take Bob's brain now. The thing about Eve's Mascara is that, yes, it's going to make our charges take way longer. However, it will also make our flies do double damage. Now, the conventional wisdom might be that we'll, do half as, we'll have half as many flies, so we'll do half as much damage. But I don't know if I necessarily completely buy that. Uh, our shot speed going down is actually a bigger problem because now our range sucks. But That's okay. I want to say that's okay. In my heart of hearts, I don't know if I believe that that's okay, though. Oh, my lord. We have to sneak in the shots to actually... To actually hit Hush. I'm concerned. Charge up the shot. We should have Diplopied, man. It would have been even better. You got it. You got your nuclear missile ready. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, here we go. There you go. I wanted to make sure we got that hit in there. Before he could even really start shooting. Then just get... Don't fuck up the second one. That's a big... That's a big deal. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Wow. Give it a sec. Just give it a second here. There we go. Enough flies to finish the job. Maybe if I could actually get them to aggro. They're doing not an insignificant amount with each hit. It's almost ready. It's almost it's ready. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh my god, I aborted that one before it was ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why did I double down on it? Because it's fucking funny, okay? I wanted to try to get something noteworthy here. I may have gone a little bit too far. I'll be the first to tell you that. But this is also going to be great practice for dodging Hush. And if we can make it work, this would be one of my favorite runs ever. Not favorite, because that might imply that I actually had, like, fun on this hush fight. This hush fight isn't about fun right now. This... <gasps> oh, I'm stupid. This hush fight is about, it's about so much more than that. Prepare yourself for the next hour of your life. Especially if Guppy's hair, uh, collar brings us back. This is why I really think it's so important for us to wait until... Um, Marriage to have sexual intercourse. Now that was, I just wanted to throw people off. Uh, it's why it's so important to wait on Book of Shadows, because with no battery charge, we're only going to get one crack at it. Too bad we don't have the shop recycling item, because we really can create, like, limitless money. And I'm not talking about the money that Bradley Cooper got paid for the movie of the same name. Yeah, you, you do you. He's dead. Oh, come on. These two flies probably can't finish the job. They got so close, though. What was that bomb for? Oh, that was a great question. I thought maybe I would shoot it in. That was a joke. There, I wanted to finish it with the bomb so that I could actually land, like, an early shot against Hush. You know what would be a great item right now? The one that gives you the auras. Good stuff. Stay strong. They don't want you to get the hush victory on Keeper. Watch your back, but more importantly, dry your back. It's a cold world out there. Nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this at all. Alright. 10% <laughs> done. Who's with me? Yo, don't waste yourselves, flies. Don't waste yourselves on shit like that. Oh, those beautiful holy light shots. Every shot that hits is so good. The problem with Book of Shadows is it's really only going to protect me for, like, one extra shot. So I, I still think, even though it's going to be infuriating to probably die many times to Continuum shots, I think it's the right play to, uh, 
a little bit of fear in my voice there. I think it's the right play to stand still and hope that you don't get fucked by them. Just keep moving. I really want to hit, like, as few flies as possible. Continuum shots. Like, Book of Shadows will not protect me. I, I, made, I made my bet. I'm going to lie in it. The flies came after me. I've been feeling this run so far. I did what I felt I had to do. You know what happens now? Diplopia Bob's brain happens now. So we can have some consistent damage. And we're going to charge up our shot. And we're going to get in here. Yeah, that's it. You get the one-two punch with the Bob's brain. We get the Wii Boxing going on. That's exactly what we need. All right, here we go. Redemption. Redemption. Come on, Rack. That was very slightly better than our existing damage. <laughs> At this point, I got to pull out all the stops. Man, the two Bob's brains come back faster than... Uh, Faster than my actual tears. That's actually kind of incredible. What this does do is it gives me a long range attack. You know, consistent poison damage. Is it something to sneeze at? Yes, if there was any, ever any damage that you could sneeze at against the hush, Double Bob's brain is probably it. But it's not necessarily bad. Now, of course, I do run the pretty outrageous risk of uh, hitting myself with Bob's brain. I think it's a high-risk venture. However, I think this is a high-risk scenario. So I'm going to give him something to write about in the Barrios. I don't know what that means. I think it's a, like a convenience store. Those hold newspapers and magazines. The reference is not, you know, illegitimate. We still have every other problem that we had to date. Comp oh, jeez, that was close. Compounded by the fact that I also um, do not have box or sorry, Book of Shadows available anymore, so I actually can't use that um, on the continuum shots or on the uh, the other kind of shots that could completely fuck us. You know, maybe the beam of light from heaven attack ends up being as bad as it possibly could be. Continuum shots coming out any second now. Got to prepare yourself for that. These guys aren't going to be a joke either. Just because there's so many of them. And man, they like super came after me. Oh, fuck. All right, blank card death. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I know you're supposed to do this after the hush fight. I'm going to use my myriad bombs. To look for a crawl space because I'm in kind of like hell. I'm in hell right now, um, and I've done it to myself. I hope you enjoy watching me in hell. Otherwise, there was no point. I should have just stuck with what we had. I gotta try, right? All right. It's not like we were using our bombs for much anyway. Make sure you hit with both of those Bob's brains. Okay. 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 Both of these got charged before I even got my first shot. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You know, I, I don't regret this, because I am actually, in contrast to what I said earlier, I'm having a lot of fun with this run. This is actually a huge challenge. Sometimes this is what you want out of Afterbirth, I think, or out of Isaac in general. And uh, I'm, I'm having a good time struggling to make this, you know, you know this accomplishment happen. And if we make it happen, it'll be a bigger accomplishment than just steamrolling the hush. It'll it'll be worth more, not because the achievement that we got is any more explicitly valuable, but because we have that extra implicit value from making it so hard on ourselves and doing it my way. I'm not really much of a singer, honestly. Uh, as you probably know. Plus, you know... Learning a hard lesson. 
sometimes requires uh, taking it in the butt sometimes. If the films that I've watched have, uh, have educated me for anything, it's that. See, this now, like, I'm not even anxious at all about the start of the hush fight. Those shots are so dodgeable. They made a movie about it in 2004 starring Ben Stiller, Rip Torn, and Vince Vaughn. It's only once those continuum shots and the myriad enemies he sends out start to start to exist that we run into the big problem. Like right now. Right now is where it's going to get a little shitty. Stand still and just hope. <laughs> ah! Don't fucking say a word. No! <laughs> oh, I aborted that one before it was done. No, 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 no. Okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. We may not be safe when this next wave comes, but we don't have control over that. So you know what? This is a great exercise in, in giving up control. Those look like real fucking close. They didn't even hit. The shots didn't even hit. Oh! No! <laughs> Hush, you, you dirty bitch! Dirty bitch. I mean, I guess why wouldn't we hold Book of Shadows? Uh. I don't know what I was hoping for there. Jesus Christ. Northern Lions, Northern Lions Adventures in Hush, uh, continue. I love this one-two wee boxing punch from Bob's brain, man. This is perfect. Great stuff. Okay, yeah. There you go. First phase, it ain't no thing. Let's be honest. This isn't the uh, This isn't that much of a difficult uh, situation for us. I really think and this is going to, you know, you might disagree. And there's validity in that. But I really think that with without Eve's mascara, we might have had a legitimate chance at a win after the Monstro's lung pickup. But I'll admit, that might be a little suspect. Just land the Bob's brain shot. Let's be honest. We're not gunning for time here. <laughs> this is uh this is a, like a a binary expression. Oh fuck. We're either going to win or we're going to lose. I don't care if it takes us uh 10 hours. I I do. I do care if it takes us 10 hours. I care deeply. Truly madly deeply like a savage garden song. Which is really probably the band I would most compare this run to now because it kind of sucks. No offense. Okay, good hit. A couple Bob's Brain Shots might be enough. Gotta actually get those Bob's Brain Shots in there. Which didn't really happen. What am I going to do with this death? I guess we pop that when there's a bunch of dudes running us down. Thank God we spawned an extra two cents there. I think that might make all the difference. You know what would have been a surprisingly effective uh, pickup? Maybe not surprising. The soul. The soul right now just feels like it like totally hard counters Hush. At least when you can only get hit, you know, zero times. That fucking Eve's Mascara pickup. I mean, to a lesser extent, that fucking Monstro's Lung pickup. With two triple shots already. I had to try. I had to see what what the world held for me. Generally speaking, you probably don't want to try to get any closer to that shot, but uh, I, I saw my angle and I took it. Good. Both Bob's brain shots gone means temporary safety for me. For my own idiocy, at least. These flies are actually like a really effective shield for Hush. Really mitigates my ability to get in there. Yep, like that's a perfect example right there. Don't become a triangle to me, mister. 
It's going to be a whiff. Had to dodge, though. Almost ready. Almost ready. Ready? Now pick your shot. Preferably away from these jokers. Okay, we did get a holy, uh, holy light shot in there. Managed to squeeze a Bob's brain in. Squeeze a Bob's brain, the half-brother to Washington Irvine's Ichabod Crane, of course. Good. Man, now it's like a... It's all about Bob's brain management. I don't want to touch these flies. I want to hit the hush. Go for the source, man. Oh, continuum shots. And flies approaching. Wow, I hate this. Wow! <laughs> I just kept moving back. I was like, he wouldn't... He doesn't have the sack. He doesn't have the sack to hit me again. He had the sack. Well, this might be it. You know what? Oh, shit. That was really bad. Okay, this might be it. If it's it, I've had a great time on this run. I understand that many of you probably didn't, and many of you probably did. This is one of those ones where some people go, Oh, this is a fucking bad. This is the worst. Oh, go watch uh, freaking Mathis play the game instead. At least he knows what he's doing. And then you look at Mathis' comments, and he's like, Oh, I'm going to watch Northern Lion play the game. At least he knows what he's doing. Um, but for some of you, this will probably be one of your favorite episodes of all time, relative to how much you like to watch me suffer. It's been like literally 20 minutes of fighting the hush. I don't know if it's in my constitution to see the ability to take a run to the extreme, even if it's extremely bad, and not go for it. So this, this run is me, man, for better or for worse. You gotta think back to Biff Naked's I Love Myself Today, you know? F very f famous Canadian pop punk artist. She's saying, I love myself today, not like yesterday. I'm going to put an asterisk there. I was still kind of fond of myself yesterday. But then she says, I'm cool, I'm calm, I'm going to be okay. Let's be honest, we all know I'm cool. Uh, calm, calmer than you are. Uh, I'm going to be okay, no, no doubt. I got these amazing, no sorry, Biff Naked, not no doubt. But um, I got these amazing items. How could it possibly go wrong? Answer, it can't. This is a guaranteed win. I have 100% confidence. I'm riding high, writing songs in the key of life right now. Not songs in the key of strife, cloud or otherwise. And uh, just, just, just back it up. There you go. Oh, that's a good stuff right there. That almost killed him in one hit. Well, let's maybe be a little overly optimistic. Hey, hi. Oh, those are shots. Okay, we're safe. I love myself today. I love myself today. Yes. Yes. Oh, beautiful shot. Okay. Almost halfway through the fight, which is where things actually get kind of tricky. Continuum shots and flies that run towards us. So I'm actually like, shit. I got, I got to get away from these flies, man. I have to move. I had to move! <laughs> no! I'm done! I'm going to keep giving it the real, the real effort here. But Guffy's hairball or Guffy's collar refuses to let me go, man. It's just like the end of the, the film, The Sixth Man, where the dude's brother dies and then comes back to help them win the high school basketball championship as a ghost. Anton! Let it go. It's basically just basketball's angels in the outfield. You don't need to see it. It's, it's, it's ancient. You don't need to see it at this point. Whoop. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, just land the flies, dude. You're good. Nicely done. We're almost going to have a charge ready to start the fight. Uh, by almost, I mean within, you know, 15 or 20 seconds. No big deal. Land a nice little holy mantle action there. Not holy mantle, holy light. Holy mantle could have saved this run, considering we had Book of Shadows along with it. But, or we would have had Book of Shadows along with it. Easiest dodges of my life. Oh, shit. Yeah, I deserve that. But that was a fun run in spite of everything. Thanks for watching, especially if you watched all of that. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.